Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. So welcome back everyone and let's complete the two remaining tasks which is get and display user information inside the profile block and the profile page. Okay, so for the profile block first of all what we need to do is we in the app section we need to get the user information. So every time we on auth is changed, at this point I'm supposed to get the user info. So user ref dot child user dot uid dot once. I'll have to use like all I need is once. So why is it not showing up? User ref dot child okay it's because it's not importing user ref okay dot once great so we have once and value snap and I'll have to create a new state which is const user details and set user details use state and this will be an empty object so here what I'm going to do is user details or not user details but set user details will be snap dot value great okay so now we have the user details at this stage and what is our task is to pass it into profile page or even sign up page so we can do that where is the feed sorry not sign up but the feed okay here it is so user details equals to user details great I save it in feed I'm having user details and from this user detail I'm just destructuring it because I it should be it could be something like props and const user details equals to props dot user details so instead of writing like this I can even write like this user details so this is just a destructuring and this is a cleaner way of doing it so that's why I'm doing it okay so profile we have this and I'll pass it just uh, like that as user details and let's see what do we have in profile profile here I can have user details great and what I can do here is if I have so user details will have first name last name and everything right so first of all let me show you json dot stringify user details okay so okay let's save it and see what do we get on the screen great so we have email we have first name we have last name right so based on this I can do something like this what I need at this place is just first name and last name so if I have user details if I have this so I'm supposed to show username uh, not username user details dot first name and user details dot last name so I need to have a string literal and dollar the same thing for here okay or else it will be loading okay so every time we we should be having user detail if you don't have user detail that means that the user is not logged in okay so we have this 
also in the image one if we have user detail dot this is a profile picture right so if we have user detail and user detail dot image url if we have this we are supposed to show image url or else it will be any random thing here great so we have user image uh, the image as well as the first name so these two things are handled about me we don't have this so we'll just for now we don't really need it so that's fine we can just let it be there all right so let's see what do we get on the screen john doe so let me quickly rerun it undefined undefined john snow so we don't want that undefined right so what we can do here is and user details dot first name so you won't see undefined you'll see loading and then john doe directly if i change something if i put an image there okay and i put double shardosh okay great if i submit it all right so it threw an error because oh okay we don't have any email here so we need to pass an email into the edit block so where is user details edit profile so here we need to pass in user details user details equals to user details nice edit profile i go into edit profile and user details okay and email is always going to be the same thing right so email we don't really have email here and okay because it's not here it is somewhere yeah so at least we are supposed to pass in user details and in the edit user that's when we are supposed to send the email so data and not just data but even okay we can even pass an email here so email equals to user details dot email okay we can do that Right, so at this stage we expect or assume that we have the user details so we will definitely have it so this is a, a synchronous call not an asynchronous call okay so we have the email as well so it won't throw any error let's see let's look at the thing again john doe new I'll have a new profile and let's submit it. So uh, throwing it's throwing some error resource must be or uh, getting URL and it failed converted. It did or it didn't, I don't know. Let's just restart it and okay it didn't because it, it did go through and we have this new image here okay great so all we need to do is we just now we need to handle the like do the success messages and handle the errors and stuff okay great so we are able to change and uh, so let let me look uh, look at the firebase database okay ramto is supposed to be a new one education so education ok 
Okay. Hmm. All right. Firebase. Okay, go to console. Oh, here it is. Okay, so if we see in the database, you should be able to see the image URL as well. So this is the one which we are using. And yeah, all are open. So image URL, we have this. This is a, I guess it's a different one. I tried it for a test. But here it is, double new, and this is our new image URL, so which is great, which is awesome. Okay, so there, sh there could be a way you can remove it and there, there are like bunch of functionalities which we can add to this. So, you can, you can do it and show, show it to me that how you have done it and yeah, that's, that would be great. And now the thing is that I would like to see is the profile page. So, let's do this let's make this a task for you guys because I, I don't think this is a really uh, I don't think or feel this as a challenging task so I have a task for you guys so first of all what I want from you so profile page this thing I, I'm gonna allocate alloc it to you so you have a better picture of what it is I'll show you what you need to do so the steps should be or could be something like this that first of all you are getting the ID right you uh, you get the ID so based on the ID fetch the user right so fetch the user if exist display basic details else 404 error second one is all you need to do is just the third thing is just like navigate back back to slash so if I am on facebook.com slash double jardosh so I should go back to facebook dot com this is all I need so these two things try to do it and if you have an issue let me know for the ID thing, you might you will have to use user ref dot child ID dot one. So this is for just it's not going to monitor it. So value dot one. So there's going to be a callback function here. So this will take a snapshot, snapshot, and here you will get all the dot value. So this is the user information which you will get. So it will be something like this. It's an object with email, first name, last name, and maybe image URL so based on this you have enough information to display on the screen for the profile profile page and you can even show like other stuff which you would like to show 
so I think we have our project ready and if I just click on and then in the section like later I'm going to also include the search page or not the search page but the one which I showed before which is just like you have a search tab here and in that search tab you can where is it you can search for users so uh, maybe I'll create like two or three more videos on this but yeah for now everything is looking good so every yeah I'll just remove this guy from add post text area I don't want to see the content so this is good it's great and yeah let me just do this one last time where is it then come through okay so I log out I'll sign up from someone else so hello spiderman gmail.com password submit spidey at gmail I need to make sure I remember that okay hello spiderman I don't have any mates so it's just Ronaldo here so if I click or look for any other image so I have this Ramto education submit so this thing did change so if I refresh my page it's gonna be Ramto education with my logo here and here we are concluding this video thank you for the support here we are concluding the video thank you for the support but we have Ramto education here oh yeah because it's supposed to be Ramto education one last thing I noticed here is that this icon is not changing so going into the post list single post details image and here if I have dot image URL if I have this show details image URL or else just show this default URL so most probably this should work if it doesn't we will have to figure out a solution to it alright so right now as you can see it's not working because let's see what do we get in the details details dot created by user f details dot created by single post post list and in this post list single post okay this is because the single post we are getting details are created by set first name so set image URL snap dot value okay that was my bad I was not paying attention so image URL if we have this so image URL set image URL okay we have set, uh, set image URL that's when you are supposed to show this or else you are not so image URL image URL great so the, the H it, should throw an error 
Okay, it did answer, which is great. I thought that if we don't have any major URL, it's going to throw an error, but it isn't, so which is great. Might be, let's see, into the, the list saying, cannot, resource must be listed in, okay, these are all the warnings, which, like, we, if we are not using it, so that's fine, we can do something about it, but it's not going to be a blocker or stopper for us. So everything is working as we are expected, expecting it to work. So thank you again for watching. Thank you very much. Great, great. This is working. Let me delete the previous one. Awesome. So this is working great. And I'll see you guys with a new tutorial next time. So take care and have a good week. Bye-bye.